What happens when you get Valentine's Day and Super Bowl in the same weekend? It's your box office news. Hello, I'm your host, Daniel Kay, and what happens is uh, it kind of ruins Valentine's Day. <laughs> That's the best I can say. Movie uh, producers uh, will not necessarily want to give up a whole day's worth of um, box office receipts, but uh, sometimes they will um, put out three or four movies for the ladies so that the men can stay at home and the ladies can all go off and see their movies. This time they really only did that with one. So uh, this is your weekend. Uh, coming, there are two new movies in the top 10. Coming in at number one, the Valentine's Day Spectacular, Magic Mike's Last Dance, starring Channing Tatum from Warner Brothers, directed once again by Steven Soderbergh. Um, and I imagine they can always go back to that well if they need to, but they say this is the last one. Uh, it only made $8.3 million, though. But then it didn't cost that much either. You know, it cost apparently under $100 million to make, so... You know, that's Sodenberg for you. He's a very, he's a, he's a sharp customer, that guy. He knows things. So maybe, uh, maybe there'll be more Magic Mike. But if not, that's fine too. Uh, oh, and Salma Hayek. I forgot her. Salma Hayek. She has a new last name. I can't remember what it is. Anyway, that was the number one movie for the whole weekend. Um, coming in number two, Avatar, The Way of Water. And um, also from the same director... Coming in at number three, Titanic, the 25-year anniversary. This is uh, from Paramount Pictures. Now, I believe it was 20th Century Fox at one time. I don't understand how that happened, and I could be wrong. But um, uh, it, it does beg the question of where is the Abyss re-release, and where is... Uh, in fact, you can't even get the Abyss streaming. It's just not available. You have to, like, look for used DVDs in order to watch The Abyss nowadays. Sorry, I'm on a tangent here. Uh, Titanic, uh, this time, made $6.7 million. Uh, and it's in 3D and um, 4K, so, you know, I would advise going on seeing it in 3D. Having said that, I did not see it. It's three hours long. For heaven's sakes. And the sinking of the Titanic occurs in real time. And it still works, by the way. As, as I recall from seeing it uh, the first time around, and maybe the second, I don't remember anymore. But uh, it was a perfectly engaging little movie, so, you know, I don't want to um, diss the Titanic. I, what I'm here to do is to raise the Titanic. After top ten. All right, so coming in all the way down at the bottom of the chart, after 12 weeks of release, at number 58, you have Leonore Will Never Die. I'm not even sure what country this is from, but uh, it's a zany comedy about a screenwriter who uh, has a head injury and hallucinates herself into an action movie of her own making. Um, it, uh, it pulled down $164 on two screens, so 82 per screen. Um, Again, uh, perhaps this is uh, what they would have considered Valentine's Day fair, except, you know, 12 weeks. It's really in theaters only because it's still in theaters. Um, however, um, coming in at number 46 in its first week of release from the good people at Kino Lorber, uh, Cinema Sabaya. And this is obviously a Valentine's Day release. You know, they figured chicks like to watch other chicks talking to each other because that's what this is. Apparently it's about... Um, eight uh, woman filmmakers who are in, uh, I guess, like a room for two hours, um, and they discover things about themselves. Sounds nightmarish to me, but I don't know. Your mileage may vary. It's from Israel. Uh, it uh, made $3,294 on its two screens. And... Um, Actually, I don't quite know how this works. It says it's the first week of release, but it's made $3,000, but it also says the total gross so far is 33000 Something screwy about this whole setup, and maybe it was uh, at a festival or something before it went into a regular release. Um, uh, Kino Lorber, you have some explaining to do. But not to me. 
Uh, that's it for this week's box office report. It's short and sweet. Thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week with more movies, but um, February's not looking good so far, kids. Bye for now.